welcome back to my channel so today I have one of the electric cars from Kia this is their 2022 Kia EV6 GT line first edition and I'm doing a full in-depth review of this so thanks to North Star Kia for providing this car to me I'm going to link their Facebook page at the description box so first let's start by showing you the front fascia of this vehicle so first of all, I'm going to show you the headlights of this car, but before that, the width of this car is 74 inches. Now I'm going to get inside, turn on these headlights. So, this car gets full LED headlights because of the GT line. So you can see this is your main headlight and the high beam. This is your daytime running lights and this is also your daytime running lights. But when you put the hazards on, this turns into the hazards. It has six sensors at the front. And if you come to the down diffuser, it has gloss black treatment and chrome treatment. And the center part actually opens when you turn on the car, but it closes when you turn it off. But it is open for feeding air, for cooling the battery of the vehicle. And the paint of this car is special for the first edition. So there are 1500 first edition vehicles. This is 420 of it. You have the new Kia logo here, the new font, and the front camera of the car is here. Front look is adequate because they're just getting into the electric vehicle markets and it is okay. Now let's check out the battery or the powertrain of this car. So all car have storage under the hood like electric vehicles but the kia doesn't so i'm going to open the hood now so after you pull that you have a little hook here and then hydraulic shields are going to open it so you have the motor of the car at the front so let's talk about that so the gt line is the top spec and it gets a 77.6 kilowatt hour battery and three or two electric motors but this is the all-wheel drive vehicle, so it has two, and the front-wheel drive vehicle has one. And you can see you don't have much storage, but you have a little storage here for the charger of the vehicle. So you could put the charger here or anything else. And that's pretty much it for the front storage compartment. You have the windshield wiper fluid here, and you have the radiator fluid there. Let's talk about power. So the power of this car is 564 horsepower and 555 pound feet of torque and because it's an electric car the 0 to 60 is fast it's 4.5 seconds and everything's covered you have insulation on the top and everything is just like a premium brand vehicle now let's close the hood so get it closer and just push windshield wipers are rain sensing it has a front camera for the adaptive brake assist of the vehicle now let's show you the car's side profile so the length of this car is 186.4 inches now I'm going to show you the front wheels of the vehicle. So, the wheels on this car are more like electric vehicle and because it's an electric vehicle, it needs wheel like these that are more aerodynamic. So you have the Kia logo at the center and you have this two-tone colored wheel. So the wheels are 255, 45R20s. You have your four piston brakes at the front that are regenerative. So when the brake push, it can charge the battery with it. Because it's a GT line, you have the side treatment that is more like a futuristic look and just look how big and wide the side fenders are. If you come back, this is the exterior mirror and gloss black. You have a hazard light here and you have a camera down here. So if I just turn on the hazard light real quick, there you can see. And it has blind spot monitoring and lane keep assist. You have black treatments all the way covering the sides and the door handles are cool because when you lock the car, it gets inside and the mirrors fold when you unlock the car it comes back out and you can just open the door like this and if you come down the side skirts or the side body is in chrome and black treatment and then the ground clearance of this car is 6.2 inches and the wheelbase is 114.6 inches and if you come to the back it's same as here and because it's the all-wheel drive car the rear wheels are same as the front but it has smaller brakes that's pretty much it and as you can see, there's this reflector here because all of the American cars have two reflectors, one in the back and one in the front. Now, let's show you the rear of this vehicle. 
and the height of this car is 60.8 inches i forgot to show you the key so let me just do that so this is for the kia logo you can actually reverse and get the car front or back with the key this is for starting up the car lock unlock trump opening and panic button and you have the emergency key release here now i'm going to get inside and turn on these rear lights So as you can see, the design of the rear lights are very iconic. It starts from here and all the way goes to there. But this is actually a really cool design. And the hazards are red because it's an American vehicle. So you can see red here. And then you have this cool treatment and chrome all the way that goes until the other side. And for the charging slot, if you just press here, it's going to power the open. And you have the charger here and this is for... If you have a fast charger and it says the charge here so it has full charge now and this is for if you are charging the car so it's going to lock the car but keep it on hold and if you just press this button the charger is going to come back you have the kia logo at the center and ev6 here but it doesn't say it's the gt line anywhere else you have a spoiler here that is a really aerodynamic and a shark fin antenna if you come down this part is gloss black but you have six sensors reflectors, reversing light, and a reversing camera. And that's going to be pretty much it, but because it's an electric vehicle, the rear design, they nailed it. Now let's check out is the EV6 practical or not. So for opening the boot, if you just press on the key, the power tailgate is going to open by itself. And you have 490 liters of storage, that is more than enough in my opinion. You have some underfloor storage too. If I just get that up, you can see your tire repair kit and your emergency triangle here and if we close this you can actually fold down the seat 60 40 distribution from either side so if you just press this button there it folds now if i just go on that other side and pull this there it folds and now you have more storage and that's pretty much it for the boot space too but it has a practical electric vehicle it's under it is a suv or a crossover you guys can say it in the comment section now i'm going to get inside now I'm going to get inside the rear seats of the car. So for getting up the seats just there and it is reclinable. Here I get inside. So you have enough legroom, enough headroom and the seats are comfortable. You have a center armrest with two cup holders and the seats are fully leathered and isofix anchor points are here. Comfortable seats. You could recline or get the seat forward as you want. So you have the charging sockets here for either side USB-C types as you can see and you have magazine holders too and AC vents on the door handles too as you can see on that side now if you come here again you have the light placements here and you have this amazing design and that's pretty much it now if I come to the door first of all you have this design with gloss black this is the door opener if you come down you have the heated seats and window openers and grab handle leather treatment storage and the meridian surround sound system this is actually the speaker of the vehicle now i'm going to get inside the front those are cool so first let's start with the dash so you have some fabric treatment here with your airbag and then if we come down you have the ac vent here this is for close this is for open then you have the gloss black treatment with this line and then you have the ac vents at the center same way close and open and then you have the hazards button here and everything else that I'm going to show you in a second. This car gets a sunroof because this is the GT line. So the blind is powerly operated and the sunroof is also powerly operated. As you can see, it opens a lot. If we're closing it, there we go. The blind automatically comes in. Then you have a center storage area under this that you have enough storage and it's very deep wireless charging pad here two cup holders and one key slot here you have the parking sensors off and on this is for the parking cameras brake hold this is the gear number of the car the drive neutral reverse there the reversing camera pops up with the 360 degree and you can also 
three the full 360 degree with the Kia there now I'm going to put it back to park and now I'm going to show you the climate control and everything but you could see the first edition EV6 1500 and this is the 420 start button here ventilated seats heated seats heating steering wheel heating steering heating seats for my side and ventilating seat for my side you have your USB for charging and USB for your mobile and same on here with a power outlet and a more storage here and this is actually a floating center console now so now let's show you the infotainment system so for on the brake pressing the start button there it turns on 12.3 inch screen copied from Mercedes Benz so if you go on home first of all you have your EV system so if I just press on this there you can see all of the mileage and everything on with the AC on it can go 254 miles with AC off 285 miles then you have your map you can see crystal clear and you can see the Hyundai showrooms at the front Baskin Robbins Best Buy you can see a lot of stuff with this uh, map Northern Boulevard train station and then your phone you have protection for the phone voice memo climate it's actually digital and analog this is for the temperature for either side this is if you want drivers only so whatever the driver sets the passenger also sets but I'm going to keep it like that this is for the wind speed auto where you want the air AC and sink and heated seats I'm gonna go out of this then you have your quiet mode then you have your HD radio radio setup media care contact notification users manual and you have your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and this is the home screen you can see the time and date navigation and the range and the FM here now if I show you the cameras of the car this is the reversing camera and then for the 360 you could see it here with the car but the color is not the same the attention to detail is not that great too but the camera is workable and that's pretty much it for the instrument infotainment system now if you go down you have this screen same as the Kia Sportage this is for the climate this is for the climate then you have drivers only AC AC wind speed where you want the air heated seats and sink and if we come here you have an outsider coming in auto climate front which is heater your windshield heater and then this is your shortcut buttons for the infotainment as the volume and that's pretty much it you have your ventilated seats here heated seats and heating steering wheel and this is the startup button it says EV2 now if we go up this is the rear view mirror of the car auto dim you have two light placements here you have a light here this is for opening the sunroof you have the emergency button here vanity mirrors are here too with a light I just put that back and grab handles are on the other side both side actually steering wheel is design wise it is okay and it is tilt and telescopic with manually adjustable and there you can see how you want to get adjusted you have your driving mode controller here these are for the screen these are for the screen you have the high beam hazard controls here and the windshield wiper controls here now let's show you the instrument cluster so put on the brake pressing the on button and it does a nice animation and there it comes on so first of all you have the speed here these are for the gears so if i put it on drive you guys can see this is for the safety systems like lane keep assist vehicle settings and all those headlight controls here this is for lane keep assist this is all the way if it goes up it's on top speed all the way down it's on zero you have auto hold feature it says ready because the car is on it's on 94 percent and it's on level three charging you can see the outside temperature from here and the mileage you're getting and the kilometer on the car or the miles on this car and this is for how much gas you're pressing so i'm going to put it back to park and it says park engaged and if i just press on the throttle no it doesn't it has to be driven and it says how much miles it can go now if i change the driving modes if i put it on sports it's a little different there this is eco and if I press and hold it it's on snow so I'm gonna leave it on sports and if I want to control that screen I can do it from here so these are your if you're going on a long trip you could turn this on so it will tell you 
when you have to rest and when you have to drive and then you have your safety systems and if I go and press this you get go to the settings of to just hold this and then you can go to your uh, driver settings like trip information after recharging and all your trips and 94% charge that this car has it can go on till 246 miles now if I go on this one you can see the navigation and the info about the car so when it's powering which wheel and the battery is at the center and the GT line has a heat pump so at winter times it can heat up the battery from before so it can get more mileage and there it says the driver's display and the temperature monitor then you can control all your safety systems and then keep assist from here and if you put the hazards you can see the cameras on either side these are the new Hyundai features and that's pretty much it. now I'm going to show you the heads up display so if I start up the car it does a nice animation when it turns on and it says Kia and then check your blind spot and all the safety systems so you have your lane keep assist and the mileage and when you drive the car you have more features and that's it so first of all you have this treatment that all the way comes here then this is the vent for the defogging the windows you have an ac vent here this for traction control and the parking brake of the vehicle this for opening the boot and closing this for opening the charging socket and opening it has a gas sign but it has a plug down there attention to detail and this is for the brightness for the instrument cluster they get up and down from here and then if you come to the door first of all you have your meridian twitter because this car has the meridian sound system then you have two memory seats this is the door handle gloss black treatment and you have leather trimmings or leather wrapped and you have this side uh, for putting your hand grab handle here this is for child locking the doors and windows these are window openers window controls and the side window controls you have the meridian sound system here surround sound and the speaker design are good but plastic and this is a little slot for putting bottles you have ev6 first edition written here and you have your seat controls i'm going to turn off the vehicle and come outside so starting off the car so if you like my reviews make sure you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe so thanks to north star kia for providing this car to me and if you want to buy kias in america you can contact with north star kia and there's someone called adam he will help you with it and if you need kias in bangladesh or this particular vehicle you can talk with migna automobiles and that is the authorized uh, kia distributor in our country and that's pretty much it for the video until then see you next time peace